Hey guys, I'm Will from Test and I'm here at Maker Fair 2013. I'm on the Nautilus art car. It is awesome. It was built by the Five Ton Crane collected, Collective, rather, and commissioned by Christopher Bentley. I'm here with the guys who built it, or some of the guys who built it, and they're gonna show me around. Okay, so this is a massive art car. Uh, can just tell me a little bit about the chassis and like what, what's actually making it go, and then we'll work our way up from there, I guess. The base vehicle is an Eagle TT8 airplane tow tractor, or a tug. Uh, it was originally designed to tow 90,000 pound airplanes, and it weighed 9,000 pounds. We cut off 5,000 pounds and added the weight of the submarine to that vehicle. It's a four-cylinder Isuzu diesel engine running on Bentley biofuels. So it's not, it's not designed for speed, but it's designed for uh, carrying a massive capacity. And, and you're way under 90,000 pounds here, I have to assume, right? We are, yeah. It's uh, 11,000 pounds dry weight, and uh, it's not built for speed. It, it only goes about 13 miles an hour. Did you do a completely custom chassis on top of the, on top of the Isuzu car? Is, is that the, the tug? Yeah, the, the whole chest you see here, the skeleton, all the skin, it's all custom fabricated. Everything is made by hand. The, the skeleton was designed in SolidWorks and then CNC laser cut. A number of elements like the door here was CNC water jet cut and the railing CNC plasma. Everything was designed by about 40 artists from the Five Ton Crane Collective. We built it in 2011. It took about eight months to design and build it. How, how do you unlock this guy? So the door system and the ignition system runs on an RFID developed by Alan Rory. So uh, behind this little panel here is an RFID reader and inside these necklaces is the RFID tag. So when we swipe this in front of the reader, it's connected to a solenoid that automatically triggers the lock. I'll demonstrate. Fantastic. There it is. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. So, Bob, can you give me the, show me some secrets of the inside of the Nautilus? Okay, a few of the secrets are uh, the periscope. It's uh, all digital. It has infrared, so you can see at night. Uh, the camera is mounted on top, and you can control it by moving this oh, wow. or this for up and down, and then there's a zoom feature. Oh, that's fantastic. And, and so, so it's not an actual, there's no optics on the periscope. You have a camera up top and a... It's all done with mirrors. Okay. <laughs> no, it's all digital. <laughs> the control electronics are in this, uh, behind this hatch. In there are RFID readers, the lighting control up to the iPads on top. That controls strands of, of uh, RGB LEDs on the outside. Uh, so the Nautilus is very well lit up and colorful at night. There's a custom app on one of the iPads that uh, controls the colors and the rate of change. So one of the other things I noticed were the both the windows and the lights are, are all gorgeous. But, but can you show me some of the irising windows? I think they're super cool. This is one. These are all hand operated inside. And there's four of these ports. And then we have a master port on the main door. And that is actuated over here from a switch. Oh, wow. It's quite spectacular. Oh. So now any, any ship has to have a map. And you guys have a big one here on we the, on the aft end. We have a special map here. Uh, of course, everyone knows the center of the world is Volcania. Uh, we have Burning Man. Um, this will guide us wherever we need to go. We have uh, the magnifying glass for uh, looking closer and finding your coordinates. If that should fail, we turn on our GPS. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the gauges have special features. These ac actually represent a clock. So we have hours, minutes, seconds. This is known as the makeout room. <laughs> uh, is it a nautical term? It is. <laughs> yeah, we use that a lot. <laughs> Excellent, thanks so much, Bob. Let's go up to the top deck. Okay, Sean, we're on the bridge. Can you give me a tour of the controls and see how you drive this beast? Absolutely, yeah. This is where it really gets interesting. This is where you would drive the Nautilus. The captain sits in this chair, which retracts. Oh, cool. The steering wheel is a full hydraulic uh, steering using a hydraulic steering pumps. Uh, we have the original shifter from the original base vehicle, so it's an automatic, really easy to drive. You mm -hmm. just put it in drive, step on the gas, which is down below. So all these different buttons in here operate different systems on the Nautilus to help, it, help us drive. These are lights, we have sound effects, we have our water cannon switch, we have our iPad integrated into the dashboard. The iPad controls GPS, controls the sound system, pro audio, pro audio sound system, and all the lighting, the LED lighting controls. 
the Xantrax uh, control here helps us monitor the power. It's a very complicated power system. Our camera here for the periscope right above us. Oh, fantastic. Um, what's this big, what's the big compass in the middle here? Yeah, that's a, that's a compass. It was uh, recovered, it's a bronze compass, fully gimbaled. Uh, it was recovered from World War II. Found it in a, in a vintage antique store. Fantastic, guys. Thank you so much. If people want to learn more about the Nautilus, do you have a website or some place that they can track you down? Yeah, either 5tooncrane.org or naughtylove.com. N-A-U-T-Y-L-O-V-E? N-A-U-T-I-L-O-V-E. I was close. Thank you guys so much. Um, the Nautilus is amazing. We'll be back with more from Maker Fair 2013. See you guys.